Okay, real quick video because I've got better things to talk about, hopefully in another video. Um, <clears throat> I started a new job, but the job ended in the middle of the month. And uh, they gave me some time to uh, start downsizing my collection again, getting back on that journey there and everything like that. Just, you know, I've got anywhere from twelve to 14,000 comics. Uh, the last four or five years, I've gotten rid of about 4,000 comics, yet accumulated probably 3,000. Uh, thanks to uh, a fan of my channel who gave me uh, uh, several boxes um, and uh, a teacher that I worked with a few years ago who gave me his brother's um, old collection and you know just finding really good deals 25 cent boxes and that sort of thing and uh, you know all kinds of, and uh, you know people sending me stuff you know which is all great and stuff and uh, I went ahead and I, it, it's time to cut deep time to cut deep this stuff is on sale on eBay I am Scarab2 on eBay, S-K-A-R-S-K-A-R-A-B-2, uh, and I'll leave a link below and stuff. So um, this stuff's got about four to five days left on eBay, and I figure I'll show it. Um, it just reached a point where, you know, the collection gets so big, I'm tired of hauling around. There's stuff I'm never going to read again. It's good to reference for, you know, YouTube videos and stuff, but, you know, when you get rid of some stuff, and you pay off some bills and you get a little bit of savings from you know what you've hoarded up and stuff like that you get bigger and better things to refine your collection and stuff right so anyway this is what's on sale on eBay okay and it's some great stuff you know um, I'm not really emotionally attached to it it's kinda cool to have it for uh, you know purposes of you know showing off your collection and stuff but you know it's time to go Right here we got is a low grade copy of Batman 227, the great uh, legendary iconic uh, you know Batman uh, cover by Neil Adams that is actually an homage to a uh, Batman cover from the Golden Age. The worst thing about giving this up is that this is my favorite uh, Batman logo, you know. So you know that's the one that says Batman to me. Okay, low grade. I got I have pictures on eBay and stuff. And it's uh, it's got a few bids on it already. It did start at 99 cents. Uh, then we have a great uh, Neil Adams. Um, uh, he he did the art on the inside, yet he didn't do the cover. I don't think. Maybe he did. Yeah, he probably did. Anyway, but this is a uh, Brave and the Bold uh, 83 Batman and the Teen Titans again. Neil Adams art. Neil Adams art on this one. Uh, it's got my favorite Batman logo it once again but uh, it's kind of cool uh, Batman and the uh, House of Mystery uh, some, you know great uh, right there on the cusp of the Silver Age going into the Bronze Age uh, this is uh, number 93 of Brave and the Bold again there's pictures on there and then we got a very these are all very fine plus up and that's being conservative I'm not an official grader just despite you know uh, doing comics in 77 the grading I got a general idea on and stuff like that it's just never a priority with me but anyway this is very fine plus all these issues are, are flat glossy you know maybe some rounded edges and stuff like that you know just you know whatever but uh, this is the 1975 Joker series that Denny O'Neill wrote uh, Jose Garcia Lopez did an issue or two uh, you know different artists in each one but anyway here's number one Number two, oh, these should be in order. Number three, with the creeper in there. Number four, uh, kind of cracks me up. This reminds me of, uh, you know, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, and uh, Spider Man, even though it's Green Arrows. Might be Black Canary without a wig. I don't know. It's been forever since I've read this. And, you know, and the Joker. Kind of cracks me up. Um, number five, and uh, number six, the uh, very popular issue with a guy who's. Is he Sherlock Holmes or is he just delusional, you know? Uh, and then we got some great Kirby stuff in here, right? Uh, number 43 and number 44. Now, 44 is in spectacular condition, okay? Um, you know, and that, yeah, this is the one where I'm kind of cutting deep on this one just because this is such a great issue. And uh, to me, this is where Kirby finally came into his art style of what is the Fantastic Four, in my opinion, you know? But anyway, but uh, yeah, but this this issue is in great shape. There's pictures on there and stuff, okay? And uh, I'm not selling that one. Yeah, but that's it. Um, go check it out, and uh, thanks for watching.